continue to be with you. And there is a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. And I know um, God won't let me shake it. He won't let me shake it. I was going to go about my day, but um, I just, I just, I just couldn't shake it. So I have to release it. I have to get it off of me. I know it's for somebody who is tuned in. Pickens, Mississippi is here. Orlando, Florida is here. Hello, family. Let me know, too, if you can hear me well. I want to make sure um, you can hear me. Want to make sure you can hear this word because it just might be for you. Arlington, Texas is here. Alabama, my day has been blessed and peaceful just getting out of work. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Sharnita. South Africa, yes, yes, yes. Hello there, Mississippi. Thank you so much. As you come in, um, share the video as well as let me know where you're tuning in from. Syracuse, New York is here, Decatur, Alabama. I know you all may have some things going on. Um, so I wanna go ahead and release this word over your life. I mean, I pray that you will open your life for what God wants to release and what God wants to do for you. Um, as I said, the Lord wouldn't let me shake this word. I was writing and the Lord kept dropping the word extension in my spirit, extension, extension. And um, you know me, I always have to ask God, what does, what does he want me to get from it? What was the word? And um, I literally had to take out my notes, take out my phone and begin to type. And I'm going to take my time and release it over you. And I'm going to read it word from word, just as God has given it to me. Whether this is for someone who God is prepping and about to assign to their place of reign, or if you're already there, wherever this word finds you, hear the word of the Lord. There has been an extension. For the Lord is saying to somebody, I am extending the time of your reign. R-E-I-G-N. God is saying to someone, your reign is not over. And to someone else, he's saying your reign will not end early. The definition of extension is prolonged or one of the definitions is prolonged or a continuation. But the Lord is saying to somebody who's watching right now, this is a promise I make to you today. What you have to understand is that this is not just a position, it is an assignment. I'm going to say that again. It's not just a position I'm giving you. This is an assignment. Wherever this word may find you in life, you have been or will be assigned to your place of reign by God. The extension of your reign is to show what it looks like for God to be with you. The extension of your reign is to show what it looks like to have God on your side. So today I pray that the spirit of conviction will come over you. Because the Lord is saying to someone who's watching right now, you are not average. I must say that again. You are not average. And the Lord says, stop treating yourself like you are. Stop thinking like you are. Because this is a promise the Lord is making to you. There are instructions. There are instructions attached to every promise. The instructions are to be careful. There are certain things, certain people, certain organizations God will not allow you to connect with in this place. He says, because not everyone has been permitted by heaven to touch the assignment that is attached to your reign. To be permitted means you got to get permission. And listen, because this is God's doing, they have to get permission from the Lord, not you. 
I, I just want to declare that again. Because this is God's doing, they have to get permission from the Lord, not you. In other words, if the door won't open, maybe you need to ask God if it needs to be. If they won't cooperate, maybe you need to ask God, do they need to be there or not? In other words, let God do the work for you, family. Let God do the work for you because God loves you so much. And he wants you to experience the extension of your reign so much that he will not allow anybody to mess it up for you. Because to have the wrong hands in it, the wrong voices in your ear, to have the wrong presence of people is to end your reign prematurely. Today I declare the devil is a liar. And the Lord is also saying to someone who's listening right now, who's watching right now, to be aware of and to watch out for that evil voice of influence, making you feel like you don't have what others have. Know what others know. God says to you today, that's not your route. Their connections won't be yours. What they have won't be what you need. For the Lord is saying you will have angelic visitations scheduled by the Father to get done what needs to be done for you. You will have angelic visitations by the Father to get you to where you need to be. God says, I will assign who can touch it. So I don't know what category this falls under for you today, whether it's spiritually or naturally, whether it be in your ministry, your business, your workplace or wherever. The Lord is saying to you, your time of rain, the extension that is happening in your life, it is here. It is here and it won't end early. Now, what I want you to do by faith in all caps, type on the screen extension, type it with power, type it like you believe it, type it like you know that this is for you, type it with everything that is in you and speak it out of your mouth as you type it extension. God is extending your time of rain. It will not end unless God says so. As long as you stay focused, as long as you keep letting God do the work for you and you remain obedient to the voice of God, your time of reign will not end before time. Come on, that's it. Type it on the screen. Extension. Extension. This word is for me. My time of reign has been extended by the Father. And I'm going to finish by saying this right here. You're up high. Don't let nobody bring you down. If God put you there, he qualified you to be there. You walk boldly in what God has for you. The mantles, the grace, the positions, the assignments that God has placed over in and upon your life. And continue to stay on the path that he has set before you. And you will watch God continue to work for you. And it's done. And it is so in Jesus' name. That's the word of the Lord. That's the word God wanted me to release over you. That's it. Extension. Extension. Your time of rain has been extended. And your time of rain will not end early. It will not end prematurely. You will finish this thing out. God wants to get the full glory out of this. God wants to get the full glory out of your life. That's it. It is for me. It is here. I don't know who's watching right now who desire for the Lord to be king over your life, to be Lord of your life. You want, him, you want to invite him into your heart to be your Lord. So wherever you are, just repeat after me. Say, Father, I repent. Today I make the choice to allow you to be Lord of my life. 
I make the choice to walk the path that you have set for me. And I also refuse to allow my past to hold me down anymore. I thank you for giving me a fresh start. I thank you for pressing the reset button on my life. Now, Father, I receive my new, I receive my new life. And it is so in Jesus' name, amen. I love you all. Stay blessed and keep on declaring your reign, your time of extension of your reign. It is here and it will not end early. It will not end prematurely. And it is so in Jesus' name. Enjoy the rest of your day.